All right, Chase Lee Hockey, Blue Futon, movie one of two, and I'm done for the weekend. And the first one is Maxine. So this is the trilogy, ending trilogy of Ty West's X trilogy. So it's X, Pearl, and now Maxine. And now this is the follow of X, where now she's in Hollywood and she has a very, very good chance of getting this part. However, things in the past are coming up and she's got to figure out if she could you know, survive, put it that way. So, I won't lie, I was not the biggest fan of X. I was not the biggest fan of Pearl. I didn't think Pearl was better than X, but to me, they're kind of overrated films. And I do think Maxine, to me, is probably the better one out of the three, but there's still something missing. There's still something about it that just feels weird. I know that's the wrong way to say it, but you see the bad guy from a mile away. The characters are interesting. Like Kevin Bacon, you know exactly what he's going to play. You know exactly what this movie is supposed to do. And I did enjoy a lot of the gore in this movie. But the third act, I would say it's rushed. Especially with the two cops and what happens to them. And the overall ending about why they're doing it. It just feels odd. Because maybe i got to rewatch X to see the correlation between her backstory when it was like 1959 the 60s maybe i missed something and i haven't rewatched it and i probably will rewatch them when a24 does its 4k box set because let's be honest that's what they're going to do it's simply to the point that's what i'm going to expect but i think maxine it's shot well there's some good songs in this movie it does dive deep into the sexualized culture and sexualized Hollywood that it was the 80s. And it's almost like the 70s of New York with the whole peep shows and everything. Uh, there are though backstories and side stories that just are there to dupe the audience. It's like, okay, that's fine. But it's it's an okay movie. Um, everyone's thinking it's going to do bomb basket at the box office. I don't think it is. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. But... Me personally, X is the worst one because you can't see what the hell is going on in that film. Now I'd have to rewatch Pearl and Maxine, but just right now I think it goes Maxine, Pearl, then X. That's just my personal opinion. But then the ending of Pearl is pretty freaking like Mia Goth is top notch. Chase Lock here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think You Blue Futon, just thank you for watching. Great down. Watch this tape tomorrow, week, month, or a year from every single freaking one of you. And let's see how Maxine does in the box office. Is she really a star?